Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to install SQL Server 2022 on Windows 11. Let's do this. Perform a Windows update before you begin installing SQL Server 2022. Download and install the Microsoft ODBC Driver 17 for SQL Server. Point your favorite browser to Microsoft.com, ENUS, SQL Server, SQL Server Downloads. Scroll down until you see Developer. This is a free edition. Click on the Download Now. Select a folder. Press Save. Let's begin the install now. Click on Custom. If you want to change the output directory, change that at 1. When you are ready, press install at button number two. The installer will download some install packages. Let's look at the hardware and software requirements. As you can see, a minimum of six gigabytes disk space and then memory four gigabytes and CPU speed, they recommend at least a two gigahertz. As you can see, the Developer Edition is available for Windows 11 Professional. Let's run the System Configuration Checker. Make sure each of the tests have passed. If they have failed, we need to fix them before we proceed. OK team, we're ready to install. Click 1, Installation 2, New SQL Server Standalone. Let's do this. We're installing a developer free edition. Click developer at one, then press two next. You must accept the license terms. At one, click license terms. Two, give that a quick read. Three, have to do a checkbox there. And when you're ready, click four next. Here are the install rules. Each rule has three states, past, warning, and error. You must fix all errors to continue. Look here. Clicking on the warning status, notice the pop-up window appears. Click on the hyperlink to see help information. If you have a firewall on your computer, you may need to open up a port. Here are the steps to do that. Click on the copy icon to copy the command to create a port on 1433. Let's disable Azure extension for SQL at landing mark 1. When you're done, check 2 next. In the feature list box, select the five elements I have selected and then at 6 when you are ready, press next. Let us name the instance of this SQL Server configuration. Notice the name must be unique. Disable the grant performance volume maintenance and when you're ready, press next. Let's configure the data engine to support mixed mode, both SQL Server authentication and Windows authentication. Type in the passwords, then confirm. Now at four, add the current user as our admin. And at five, press next when you are ready to continue. Let's set up the analysis service configuration. At one, select tabular mode. At button two, let's select add current user. That will be the administrator for analysis service. And when you're ready, click three next. I recommend you pause here and then look at our summary. Use the scroll bar and go up and down to see our list of properties we're adding. And when you're ready, press the install button. This will take several minutes to install on your computer. And there you have a team installing SQL Server 2022 on Windows 11. There were some prerequisites that you have to install or you'll get a lot of errors and it will not install correctly. If you have any questions about this video or comments, please leave them below. Until next time, take care.